All right, all right, all right. End the wars. This is great. Cut the military budget by at least 20% every year. Yeah, and it's it's kind of, you know, it's an arbitrary number. It, it's something maybe it should be a little different mm-hmm. or other numbers or whatnot. But the, the point is mm-hmm. to just put it out there as yeah. we're demanding cuts. It's yeah. not this thing of, oh, we'll, we'll not increase it as much. You know, mm-hmm. or, or oh, Putin's so scary. You know, it's it's no, <laughs> this is this is nonsense. It's 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 just it's it's mind boggling, the yeah. the amount spent on in in the whole U.S. military. It's just it's one of those things that they make it so huge and so ridiculous and so hard to fathom that it, it's hard to even deal with. <laughs> mm-hmm. it, it's like and so no, cut cut it cut it and we'll go from there. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. Uh, let me see. In sales of military weapons by U.S. companies, that's a big one, Roger. I'm sorry, Roger. I'm talking, You're I'm doing talking like Roger Savvy Meadows. does. Savvy does that sometimes. <laughs> Call me Roger. No, I'll, I'll take it I, as a compliment. I saw Roger Meadows' <laughs> comments on Rockfin, which I'll be getting to in a little bit. But <laughs> I'm right, just hitting the Rockfin. All look, right. Look, I'm telling you, got look. You, you, Corey, and Roger are all brilliant people. So. If I interchange, it's only because I'm thinking, smart guy, this is a good point. <laughs> so, sorry. Hey, like you said, I take it as a compliment. I mm-hmm. always love to hear what Roger has to say. But, uh, but to on, go on back- this topic, remember when, when arms dealers used to be the bad guys? <laughs> In right? <movies? laughs> Whatever oh happened to that? We're the world's biggest <laughs> arms dealer, and everybody's like, yeah, whatevs. <laughs> Even an Iron Man. Tony Stark was an arms dealer, Jesus. and it was like, oh, well, I guess I, I can't do that anymore because that's just bad. Why are we still being in cahoots with Honeywell, Raytheon, Boeing, Northrop Grumman? Why are we still cheering for these companies when they're the ones who are increasing our military budgets up the wazoo? It's crazy. It's psychotic. And so our demands just need to be no i mean it's just no foreign sales period yeah then the next thing you'll get is what about all those jobs and whatnot and so then you go to the next item <laughs> there you go replace military jobs with federal green jobs <laughs> yeah. jobs program there you go just yeah. redirect even if you just redirected that money you wouldn't even have to worry about budgeting yeah, yeah and you're creating good jobs too one of the things that that um I, I'm, I'm not a veteran. I want to give a nod to like groups like Veterans for Peace uh, that, that, yeah. that have a lot uh, of good things to say. But one thing that always really irritates me is military recruiters prey on high schools that are in low income areas. Yeah. And being an enlisted person in the military, it's not an enviable job, I, I yeah. think. Um, and, and and so really, you have you you have this going back to the education point. You have a system where education is is unattainable, and uh, and you have the government coming in and saying, "Hey, your only you know venue to that is going to be serving in the military," and that's a major problem. Funny how that works out, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, reform imperialist foreign policies. That's also a must. Uh, repeal the USA the USA Patriot Act, the Espionage ugh, the Espionage Act of 1917, the Authorization Use of Military Force of 2001, and similar laws. And that gets into some of the nuts and bolts about how imperialism op- the imperialist state operates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, prohibit intelligence agencies from conducting propaganda and intrusive surveillance operations against the American people. Which is going on right now. <laughs> Go figure. Hi, yep. NSA. Hello. <laughs> I know you watch. 